Hey guys, we're now at the point where we need to set up our campaign inside Bing Ads. So I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. Firstly, you want to click here, create campaign and a search campaign. And you want to rename your campaign based on the offer. So we're going to be promoting Paleo Hacks Cookbooks. So I'm going to copy that, tap that in it, and I'm going to write Clickbank so we know what we're doing. Um, time zone, um, that's London, campaign budget £5 per day. Um, it's quite low, but it's definitely, um, you definitely want to keep it low to test with to start with, okay? Um, you don't want to be putting it too high because you can use that budget very, very quickly. Language, English, locations, what locations you want to target or exclude. Um, I'm just going to go with UK for this, for this instance, okay, because I like to, um, set up different campaigns for different countries. So for example, here on the top, I'm gonna write UK, so I'm specifically targeting the UK people, and I'll set up a different campaign for the US, different campaign for Germany, different campaign for France, um, Canada, Australia, etc., etc. Okay, now, this is important. Advanced location options, show as to people in searching for or show interest in your target location or people in your targeted location or people searching for or showing interest. We want people who are actually in our targeted location, okay? Um, so so the ads are gonna be shown to people who are actually on, on computers in that country, not people who are interested, but people actually in that country. Otherwise, the whole thing is a complete and utter waste of money, okay? So we need to create an ad, an ad type, text ad, automatically there. Ad title, what we want for the ad title, as I said to you before, we're gonna go on the sales page here, click up our follow.net um, tool we've got for Firefox, the browser I'm using, I'm gonna go down and see what people are using here. Uh, there's some, I think they're actually from the official, they could be from the official people behind the product. I might use them, but let me see what other people have got. Paleo Diet Cookbook, $20 Paleo Cookbook, they're not the most appealing, but let's just copy that for now. Chuck it in here. Maybe I'll change our Paleo Diet Cookbook 2016. Oh, I can't actually go any further, so I'm literally just going to put it there. Add text. Let's go back here. So we're going to go back and see what people have written on the add text. For 37 bucks, only get internet access to 200. Right, let's copy that. Go back here, paste that in there. As you can see there, it's um, already starting to look very, very good. Display URL, that's the kind of display URL. It doesn't have to be particularly our link. We can literally have anything we want there. Um, because the destination URL, that's where we put our actual link that, needs, that is gonna be taken to our affiliate link. So display URL, I'm gonna look at what other people are using, or actually, I'm, I'm actually just gonna use this one. I'm gonna use paleorecipeteam.com um, because that's the site we're advertising, right? So as you can see there, it's, it's gone to the side of there and it's gone underneath there. And our destination URL is where we need it to be um, going. So I'm gonna go back to my affiliate account here on ClickBank as I said, it's this over here. I'm gonna click promote. It's already pulled up my username on ClickBank. I'm gonna click create. And I have my unique link there. I'm gonna click copy on that link, close that window, go back to Bing, paste that in there, and I've got my ad already set up. Okay, now, this is, the, this is another very really important part. We're now at the keyword part where we need to tap in here the keywords we want to target um, our audience on, okay? So when someone searches for that keyword, they are taken, they're, they're shown the ad basically, okay? So pull up my text edit here. Remember, we got all these keywords before from um, Google AdWords, actually, what we, we copied them from Google AdWords, successful keywords people are using to target a paleo, a paleo diet thing. Right click, paste it in there. Uh, remember these are exact matches and uh, just click add uh, 
and it should it sometimes it's a bit it takes a few seconds but as we can see they've been added to our data here and it's telling us already it's telling us how much we need to bid depending on what we want if we want a first page bid a mainline bid or the best position bid all depends on your budget okay guys um you know if you're flush with cash go the best position um if you're not so flush go for the main line um but you definitely want to try and get on the first page okay so automatically it's charging us for the first page bids okay so as you can see the different prices here you do want to go through them individually and see which ones um which ones you think might might be too expensive or not worth it and delete them or adjust the price because you can't get on the second and third page and that's still still very powerful okay so all you have to do at this point is click the save button and then you're good to go on to the next stage okay okay guys now after you've done all that there'll be a button there to click click save I just click save and you get a lot more options that literally pop up afterwards so the first one is the targeting and the you need to put a bid and search network bid okay you want to keep that as quite low so that you're not spending too much okay now here you get targeting um, advanced targeting options you can kind of basically say what time of the day you want your ads to be shown for now I'm not going to think about it in too depth you might at times say you know you might want it to be shown just Monday to Friday start time for example 9 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. when people are at work or whatever or even you might want it for example um, 6 p.m. to I don't know for uh, 3 a.m. for example and you can adjust the bids uh, by any percent you want for that certain time but we're not going to worry about that too much we're just literally going to put all day let's just say nine to nine to five for example okay and just just leave it at that demographics it's automatically going to be shown to both genders and all ages we can change that later in the settings tabs um, advanced options here native ads click here to modify your bid for we're not going to worry about native ads um, for now ad distribution um, it's going to it basically this is where we select where we want ads to be shown on all search networks Bing AOL and Yahoo search and syndicate search partners Bing AOL and Yahoo search only Bing AOL and Yahoo syndicate search partners only so I would normally just go them only for now just literally the stuff that Yahoo AOL and Bing operate then I'll add their partners and all the other great stuff later once I've got an ad that works and it's profitable I will not add all that stuff yet because you as I said you cannot waste all your budget and all your money um, without knowing what's actually going on pricing model automatically set a cost per click schedule when do you want your ads to run you know you could put start date today or tomorrow let's for now let's put it as tomorrow um, exclusions which websites should not show your ads so basically if you found websites which you do not want your ads to be shown this is when it's on the partner websites um, I think you, you might have seen you might not have seen you get ads obviously on Yahoo on the right hand side on the search but also you get a lot of websites other people's websites blogs and whatever and Yahoo place your ad on their website that's what they call the whole partner scheme kind of thing very profitable can work well but if you come across a website which you don't like the look of you can put it on your exclusion list um, because it could be wasting okay. you clicks and money ad rotation here if you've got multiple ads set up you can um, click optimize for clicks include ads with the most clicks or rotate ads more evenly so even those with a lower CTR you can still put in the rotation um, but we'll get into that a bit later then you obviously want to click save on this whole process and then that'll take us back to our campaigns um, I'm just I'm actually gonna pause the campaign for now because as I said this is literally a tutorial and I wasn't doing this to set up this second but 
I'm gonna click on it right now to show you a few things. If we click on ads, we can see our ad right now. There we go, that's our one ad, Paleo Diet Cookbook, PaleoRecipeTeam.com for 37 bucks only, get instant access for 200 recipes, Paleo Diet Cookbook. Okay, so there's a few other things we can look at here. Uh, we can look at the keywords that we obviously inputted and it's sometimes wise to add what we call negative negative keywords so what that's going to do is going to block any clicks for topics or subjects we don't particularly want to be be linked to okay so sometimes you get stupid keywords like the words free or bonus or giveaway we don't want that because we're actually trying to sell something we're trying to be an affiliate product which actually costs money okay so we don't want to um we don't want freebie seekers clicking on rise and the way you do this is you do view negative keywords and what we can do, we can add a bunch of negative keywords here if we would. You don't have to, but it's wise to. So let's have a look at our keywords here. And let's see if there's any, any keywords we can um, look at, which I think might not be really wise, but I haven't got time to actually delete every single keyword here. So let's just have a quick, quick little look. Right, let's take the word free out for to start with. Let's take the word what are, because we don't particularly want people searching for what are things, or what is. Um, zone diet, the, uh, this one here for example, not really relevant. And we, we could go through a list and find all sorts of odd words, but we don't want to remove too much because it could block a lot of clicks to our ads, you see. Um, let's just take that word out. So as you can see, you can save them and it's going to prevent you from getting clicks related to those words. Okay, now if we go over to the settings, um, we can see what we set up before um, and then we click on ad groups that's our that's our group of keywords in our ad and again we go to ads it's taken us to our ad exactly what we wanted to see go back to keywords if we go back to the normal keywords with with targeting I'll just go over a few things here. What you can do is here is that you can actually change the bid up for any keyword. So if we think that we're not getting placed high enough, we can change that to 20 cents, for example, and you immediately change it. You may think that one's too high. We're getting too many clicks and it's not converting for us. Change it down. Um, here we'll tell you how many impressions we've got on our, on our ad for that specific keyword. So it's how many times the advert has been shown on Bing when someone searched for that keyword, okay? Uh, if I go across here, you can see your spend here for that keyword, the average position on Bing. Um, and this is probably the most important part is the CCR, the click through rate. rate. That means that, you want that as your as ad is going to be relevant to the people that are searching for it. And Bing is going to reward you for the high click through rate and it's going to position your ad a lot higher than others. Um, it's going to give you some bonuses and benefits from that. And what you can do is you can kind of like, if you've got a high click through rate, you can start lowering your bids. And because you've got a high click through rate, Bing's still going to reward you because it's relevant and congruent with what you're kind of advertising. So you can change it up. Um, your click through rate might drop, but then you start adjusting it again and you're good to go okay so 
I hope that explains exactly how we set up our ads on uh, Bing ads. In the next few videos, I'll be talking about how to optimize your ads, how to split test, how to create more ads, but also how to maybe create some landing pages instead of sending your offer direct to the, sending the ads direct to the offer. And if you've got a landing page, you can then build an email list and so on. You can create a long-term business out of this whole game, okay? So that's it for now. Thanks.